436 clan, they dropped down. So we do have our semifinals matchup coming here. I want to talk about what you think is going to be some predictions here coming out of this. Um, but first off, I mean, are you still going with cute hamsters, making it, making it uh, to the grand finals here? Are you sticking to your guns? Well, the thing is, is that like the more it is that I think about it, like I, I imagine that they do. I, I, if if statistics were anything, uh, coming into this matchup, statistically, statistically they will make it to grand finals. Um, but also the thing is, is that I, I think it's so interesting to see a lot of these teams really, really try and lay it on them. Honestly, like the, these guys, like you have right turtle up here in the semifinals on one half of the bracket. You have hefty Cormorant on another side of the bracket as we're waiting for like more and more teams to sort of like play their matches. So that way we can see who they will be going, both of those teams will be going up against. Um, I think it's so interesting to sort of see right turtle. If Q hamster win this against banana smoothies, I would say that I, I, based off of statistics, once again, in the past, Q hamster takes that over, uh, Q hamsters take that over right turtle, but this, that's been a contested match for like a while that like they've played each other consistently at the top or end of, at, the, at the later ends of the bracket. Yeah. I mean, there's been times where cute hamster and right turtle were the one and two going back and forth for an entire right, month, right. right. That happened in May. And then all of a sudden hefty cormorant this month turns out to be that team going back and forth with cute hamsters. And mm. now right turtle was a fifth seed. I mean, they didn't play in week one. They make it, they didn't make it as far as they would have hoped in week two. Week three, they had to go against Hefty Cormant very early in the bracket. So, of course, they didn't make it as far as they would have liked either. So, they got that fifth seed, barely. They got five points in the standing. And uh, they're making a run for it. They're going to have to possibly meet Cute Hamsters in this semifinal, like you were mentioning. But they're going mm -hmm. up against Banana Smoothies. Mitt Payne, they've kind of just – Banana Smoothies has kind of just been living off of his – solo carry potential and that really you mm. can't survive off of that but it will we are gonna have a matchup coming through and it's as we were predicting right turtle versus cute hamster for our cute first hamsters. semifinals mm -hmm. in the winner's bracket i i mean i, I want to go with right turtle because it's the underdog even though they're kind of not yeah. the normal <laughs> underdog story uh -huh. right but Cute Hamster, of mm. course, being the favorite with – we've got Gronky, Frag, Delena, and now Highlight this month. He's been spectacular mm. for this lineup. On the other side of Right Turtle, you know, last month we had Emit Payne, Slop, Prosper, mm -hmm. and Cool. Well, Cool and Payne are gone, so the original roster of Right Turtle's back. The full EU squad, mm. you've got Slop, Prosper, Emis, and Pulsa. What are you thinking between these two teams here? So not only are we seeing more like returning Paladins players, but thinking about between these two teams as well, um, Ride Turtle, Q Hamster, I just mentioned it. This is a matchup that we have seen time and time again. It is a rerun of the same show multiple times. I mean, typically Q Hamster is the one that comes out on top of that one, but Ride Turtle, once again, it's, 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 it's about being that underdog, the underdog story. These guys have played each other enough um, I'm expecting Right Turtle definitely, as they always do, put their best foot forward and make sure that they obviously try and take this over Q Hamster. But I, I, I think it's going to be a difference in, at this point, since these teams have played each other so much, they definitely know the habits and the strategies. So they have to bring out something, I guess, a little bit newer. They have to be a little bit more unpredictable because typically when you play against, right, whether that's in scrims or whether that's um, playing at a highly competitive competitive level, um, you play the same team over and over and over again, you're going to get used to playing those same players. You can sort of get an idea for how that's typically going to go, right? So for that being the case, I would say that right turtle, I believe they've done their research. Um, they've made it here once again to semifinals. I want to see them really, really try and give it their all against Q Hamsters. Well, give it their all against Cute Hamsters is going to take a lot. Let's take a look at the series layout here and what maps we're going to be going to. I said we had a small sample size for Demolition on Hollows. Well, it's going to grow a little bit here as game number one will be Demolition on Hollows. Glacier will be played for our King of the Hill in game number two. Strikeout, we're going to Skyfell. And then if necessary, Icarus 
will be game number four. Mm. Game number five will also be another Skyfell, but that time it'll be a demolition. Not sure what the bands are coming into game number one, but I would guess there might be a fixer ban. Cute Hamster likes to ban out that fixer. Yeah, that is um that is a character it is that we still consistently see get banned as well. I mean, Fixer, obviously, him being able to have the goggles and a smoke grenade, being able to see through his own smokes means that he has a lockdown potential that not a lot of rogues in the game have. I, I, I would say that not any other rogue in the game has, honestly. Um, but we're but but I'm, I'm interested to see Hollows. Hollows on Demolition, because we saw how it went last time around, right? We saw how it went um, when we were running King of the Hill, excuse me, on this map. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see how these teams play on the demolition aspect of things, right? Because typically at some points in time, you can get a little bit more accustomed to certain maps being played differently than others. Considering the fact that this is like, we're moving from demolition to king of the hill to strike out, every map has to be played differently. And that's dependent upon the map and game mode it is that it's on, right? Um, so I'm interested to see how they're going to play on hollows. Uh, I'm interested. I'm, I'm really, really interested to see like the the match as a whole because once again, like I mentioned it before, these guys have been playing each other so much. I, I really want to see if Right Turtle really can be the underdogs, the Cinderella sto story here. I'm, I'm I'm excited to see it. Yes, we will be watching both semifinals. I've been told so. Everyone in chat, no matter what channel you're watching it on, you are getting a big <laughs> treat, ladies and gentlemen, because we're gonna watch two really good semifinals here in our winner's bracket. The second one, Hefty Cormorant, still we don't know who they're going to be facing. Long matchup happening in that quarterfinals matchup between Definitely Not Ready and Brave Sheep, two teams that are kind of up and coming. Brave Sheep, kind of a little bit older. They've got some some players that have been around for a little bit of a while. But DNR, led by mm. that man named Heartbreaker and Jeep GP Pie. I need that guy in chat. I need someone from his team to tell me how to say his name. Is it Gappy? Guppy? Like, what is GP P I E short for? Okay. Because I think of both of those Gappy or Guppy. And Guppy mm. is a fish. So <laughs> it might be that one. Unless that person hates fish. Then I don't know. But we are watching Cute Hamster versus Right Turtle. Game number one coming at you very soon here. Let us know who you think is going to win. You can tweet live. Uh, you can tag us at CMG underscore rogue, mm. or you can use the hashtag CMG 10 K. If you don't like that hashtag, we've got another one CMG RC. So whichever one of those, or you can use them both. Hey, we, we click on it. We look at those tweets. We see what you're saying. So let us know. Who you think it's going to win this. If you don't have Twitter or you're just too lazy, just type it in chat then, right? It's whichever one you want. And also we have some other updates coming at you. I mean, there's a lot of them. Hot Rogue Summer is one of them. Let's take a look at it here. We've already seen that Seagird skin <laughs> in action. None of the Scorchers were wearing that skin that we saw, but the Seekers were wearing that skin. And Talon, we saw his shirtless skin. And Fon, I don't know about you, yes. but I think okay. the shirtless would make, like, I'd be shirtless. If I, if I looked as great as, uh, first of all, I have the same haircut <laughs> as him, so I do look as great as him, Okay. If I okay, look okay. as great as him sitting next to a pool, I'd probably have no shirt mm -hmm. on. Now, granted, he does have no undershirt on, and he's got his 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 button down just open, right? But he's wearing a blazer mm -hmm. and dress pants to this party, man. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, like you got to rock the fashion whenever you can, right? Like, I I I, I guess. With this being the case, I mean, like, I don't really see much water in that pool, considering the fact that I guess Talon just has all the drip all, already on him, right? I mean, like, I guess that's where all the 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 pool water has gone to. But for the most part, a Hot Rogue Summer Update, be sure that you guys check that out on, obviously, RogueCompany.com. That's where you can view the latest update, the latest news on the game. And I definitely would be interested to see that that skin on the left there like i i don't think we've seen that skin at all actually like i i it's it's the one next to talon i, I don't think i know whose skin that the is i couldn't tell we it's saw like, yeah, that's, oh, that's right it is a secret skin that's right we saw my story yeah, that's right i completely forgot about the scuba skin. but i haven't even i haven't even seen the, the skin like i haven't even seen anybody uh, use the skin and i think that's such a cool skin too he was using the skin was he you missed it you missed it. You blinking. You I, missed I, it. I, that game ended very quickly. That's probably why. My I mean, that guess, I guess that's why. <laughs> like, I guess yeah. that's what ended up happening. There's only one time was, we actually uh, saw the secret, too, actually getting brought up. I think up. it was a kick of the hill. But 
as we wait for game number one, you know, first of all, I want to shout out to whoever did the artwork there because putting Seeker as the man roasting the marshmallows on the grill is perfect because he mm-hmm. just uses his arrow to hold the marshmallow <laughs> instead of like a stick. He's got his arrow. So big shout out to the art team there. That looks really, really good. I like the skins. I've got the skins. Okay. I put those skins on my character and I say, let's go. It's hot rogue summer. And, uh, you know, <laughs> Things are heating up here in the competition because we've got right turtle versus cute hamster coming up very shortly. I'm still waiting for chat to let me know who they think is going to win here. I don't, I don't know if we got anyone that can throw a poll <laughs> up or whatever on either channel, but we do have the bands coming in fixer. Of course, cute hamster gets rid of them. The only character who has a smoke that he cannot see through is phantom. And we've only seen phantom once all month. So I doubt we'll see it again. Mm-hmm. Fixer being banned out by cute hamster. Meanwhile, right turtle, they take care of Anvil. So that will not be available for hollows, which I think is a big deal because Anvil, even though teams are still trying to learn the meta or what's good, what's bad, what's decent on hollows demolition, small sample size. Well, they figured out Anvil is a big problem there, especially on the wide open site towards that right side of the attacker's point of view. So they'll take him off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Anvil is obviously one of those characters that is that whenever we see, there's always a discussion about whether he should have been banned in the first place or not every time we see what impact he brings to whatever map it is that he's going to end up being played on. So I completely respect the Anvil ban. The Fixer as well, taken out of the pool here as we go into Hollows. But even still, that's... So Chad was mentioning earlier about the fact of, like, where's the Phantom at? Why haven't we seen Phantom, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I... I'm also at this point wondering the same thing because I feel like there is still an opportunity of opportunity there. Um, Like, like, uh, like there, there's a chance to be able to lock in Phantom. There's a chance to be able to make sure that you can get the shots off wherever necessary. Right. That nano smoke is obviously going to give out Intel, whoever's standing in it. I think that that's great on like wider maps. I think that brings a lot to the table, but um, I wonder if that's like the overall perspective of, what what <laughs> i think no, it's like the overall no, perspective we don't want that I, I think we it's fine see <laughs> it's fine i don't know who's people are watching but they do not have all the champions i think this is <laughs> oh it's one of our spectators i thought we'd be watching from a player's pov there for a second i was totally lost for a moment <laughs> but we are seeing the rogues coming through as the bands were popped there a uh, fixer and anvil being taken out we're gonna see the chalk kestrel the dallas now we did see cute hamster play some dallas on this map in the past i think it was last month when we added hollow so they mm-hmm. liked it they like the dallas here frag one of those really good dallas players that we've seen before this this map i've, I've said it before it's not big It's not small at the Mm -hmm. same time, but it's not, it's not like big, you know, but the rotations are very long because there's a lot of corners. You got to turn and it's just the, the amount of time it takes you to rotate is a little bit longer because the way the map is structured Dallas though, the available ability that he brings to the table gives you that Intel. Plus I just, I can't wait to see if frag is stinking the heads with that DMR. (laughs) <laughs> hopefully he uses the dmr i know it's kind yeah. of like a, a weird map for that rifle but bring it out baby yeah maybe maybe not the most opportune map to bring out the dmr but i i i you know what given the dmr you know like why not buy it why not try it out for this game as we head right on into it i, I think it's so interesting to not only see both of these drafts but to see this consistent use of of Kestrel, this consistent use of Chalk. Obviously, they're both great characters, so I'm not surprised to see them, but I am glad to see them here as we head right into the very first point on Demolition here. Yes, and it looks like they're going to be heading towards that A site to start things off, but Frag's kind of teasing. Teasing a little bit towards mid off that big zip. Slop also playing the Dallas. So you will have that intel available for the side of right turtle as well. They have the Vi on the defensive side, however. Dahlia Kestrel links on both teams. Something very important, especially very early on. You want her to get that lifeline perk as quickly as possible. And look how much util they are using to push slop back. A couple shots being traded between the two. 
and falling very low is Delana. One shot of health to his name, but he'll start <clears> to regen. And now look at this. The incense was used. I believe the drones were used. Now the reveal will come out from Slop. He was able to retake that position he was holding at the beginning, right next to Crane behind those boxes. Did use the reveal, found Delena inside cave. Now everything's starting to come to fruition for everybody. As Delena comes around the corner, oh, Rocky wow. takes out one, and Delena with one shot to his health once again was able to win the gunfight executioner versus revolver a little bit more speed to that executioner now pulso behind crane as only two members stand and gronky's all the way in the defender side as m is swapped halves with them the bomb was also planted through all of that hec hectic battle and the bomb goes off <clears throat> the attackers lead here one nothing for cute hamster you know so far so good in terms of starting things off on the right foot in terms of cute hamster they were able to get the bomb down and then it was just a struggle to try and retake on the side of right turtle i want to sort of see a little bit more of an aggressive hold i mean they're able to force slot back but i think that's from his per personally i believe that's from his lack of help on the on, on the uh, on the team um because if more than one person's holding that angle he he wouldn't have to con concede as much i don't think um and everybody else was trying to make sure that they played around that much uh, so it's kind of hard to say for right now i mean they were able to get the bomb plant down with very little effort um needed on the side of q hamster so hopefully that doesn't happen again if you're a uh, right turtle on the side of right turtle and already slop trying to get to that same position behind that little short box on the right side of the crane from the defender side but he's not able to do so they're kind of just pushing him back a little bit easier or differently then they try to that first round, this time not wasting as much util, such as the incense. Bomb in Chalk's hand, highlight kind of creeping through Red Room, where that big door towards mid is. Haven't elected to open it as well. Kind of gives away that you're opening the door. Chalk going in for the bomb. Smoke towards that mid cut is getting shot. Frag finds one on the pulse, so finishes him off with the incense. The bomb was planted as well. And as that ticks away, it's a 3v4 with the attackers having that advantage. Oh, man. Now the drone is coming through. Halo drone. Yeah, beautiful is one way to put it. Devastating for the defensive side. Pistol comes out. Prosper finds one, but Delana was able to down Emis. He got flashbanged as well, so he'll be finished off. Cute hamster lead 2 0. Yeah, another aggressive push around the corner, just forcing things back. Like, I I don't know, man. Like, this is the second time where we've seen them plant with ease. I mean, the smoke is obviously the storyteller here, right? It's the fact that they have those smokes already readily available to them. Every time they use it, they get the bomb plant down, and it's the post plant that becomes an issue. You have two people sitting around the corner. I was wondering if he was going to use that incense to try and force things back. You had the bomb right in open sight. One of them staring down into another room. And there's two of them stacked around the corner. Use the ensign just to check and clear the corner and have your team play a little bit more aggressive. I, I, I don't think that they win by trying to play the long con here on the side of right turtle. And it, it hasn't worked for them yet. And this is why you see Cute Hamster banning out the fixer because they need to use those smokes to be able to get that bomb planted. Slop this time looks like he has padded steps using that uh, assault rifle with them as well. No DMR for either Dallas players here. Prosper kind of just pushing up very aggressively on that A site. They realize that they're not there just yet, but creeping through Red Room maybe for a, a little bit of a confusion plant as the rest of the team looks like they're trying to show B and oh my goodness, Gronky sneaking oh, through man. a little bit aggressively onto that a defensive side of the B site towards mid takes out the Vi. Now Gronky gets taken out by Emis with a little bit of help from Slop behind him. So that evens out the count 3v3. Bomb's been planted, however. Chalk got in there and got that bomb planted once again. I don't know if they used the smokes this time. Delena was in position, position to help him out. He pushed up to that small box. As a grenade comes oh, in, yeah, instant as well. Highlight finds Emis, so it's a one-for-one -one trade. Delena is still knocked and crawling around. Emis gets finished off. And now, the objection in Prosper's hands, not able to finish off that 
as he was able to get a couple shots on the highlight, but he is surviving. Finally, he goes down to the help of Slop. A smoke came out to kind of cut off Red Room, and they finally are able to finish off the last member and get a defuse successfully. Just by the skin of their teeth, too. I mean, that bomb was about to blow, and they managed to get the last two kills they needed to give them that round. Right, Turtle? to the very first point on hollows that was a great retake um i like their adaptation to obviously the typical playback and play post plant sort of style that cute hamster has had um they played a little bit more aggressive a little bit more in their faces they pushed four they weren't afraid you obviously got gronky um moving around on the side he gets one pick because he's roaming as opposed to playing on site like with the rest of his team um and the right turtle even it up after that the rest is history. We see Right Turtle take the round. We see them play a little bit more up, a little bit more in the face of Cute Hamster, and I think that worked for them. And I'm I'm excited to see how they if, if they take that win and use it to their advantage. Yeah, they try to play a little bit of mind trickery there with their plant and their fakes. It, it looked like it was working out in their favor towards the beginning half of that round, but towards the later half, well. Everything went awry for them. Now they're starting to do it again, but this time three members kind of walking pretty quietly. Two members crouching, and then, oh my goodness, they're getting pushed up, but they're able to find wow, the kills man. onto Pulsa and Prosper. They finish off one being Pulsa. Now two members standing, Dallas and Kestrel, for the side of the defensive right. Turtle Slop finds one on the Gronk. He finishes them off as well. The flashbang from Chalk on the offensive side comes out. The smoke as well. Now they're looking to plant the bomb for the defender side of the map. Rushing backside Crane. Grenade comes out. A lot of damage. 54 to be exact on Kestrel. And another grenade comes above his head to finish them off. Sheesh. That's crazy. Like that. that, that is a... That is an aggressive, a more forward style that is a in-your-face sort of play that they were able to actually make work for them. I mean, that is beyond the realm of, like, patient play. That is the exact opposite of how they've been playing this entire time. It's been rough, I would say, for the most part, for um, uh, for Right Turtle. They were able to take that round, but three of them swing around the corner. Two of them are already waiting. They know what their plan is. They get the hit, but then they don't get the kill, which is which is like unlucky because of the fact that there's three of them there. I think that was just a numbers uh, difference um, and made it hard for them to be able to get those trades a lot easier. And so, Red Turtle, got to keep their head in the game. There's still plenty of rounds to go. Plenty of rounds to go indeed, but Slob doesn't have plenty of health in his name as he's going to try and back up now the rest of his team was there to help him and they slop they each find one apiece highlight was able to panic throw a semtex and he found slop with it gets finished off with the grenade from delena as well but now a 3v3 and another member for the defense goes down that time it's the dahlia delena finding prosper with the dmr one of the best dmr players I mean, he's up there. Nash, Delena, that's who I think okay. of when I see DMRs ringing true like that. Four to one now. Cute hamster lead in game number one. Yeah, that is a um, a very clean round. I think that's the fastest one they've had so far in terms of them just winning the gunfights. They were just pushing around, not even concerned about the bomb. They were just getting the kills, and the frags followed suit to a dub. And that's what cute hamster were able to take as the score now is at four to one. I'm interested. To see right turtle try and stop this aggression that cute hamster have sort of brought out they've played like less of the post plant and more of the in your face sort of style despite them having the bomb despite them being the ones needed to plant so i don't know it's 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 been a it's been an overall rough run i would say for uh for the team and i think it is i i i think i i think it is rough um for right turtle to try and clap back against this it, it has been hard it has been not as consistent uh, as before emis does get it down though so maybe this might look a little bit better for our turtle yeah slop with the stalker and the batted steps walking around oh, as man. dallas did find one on the gronky frag out falls as well to emis highlight did get a return on the pulse so finished him off as well but he's all alone against three members of right turtle has the bomb in his hand has a flashbang has his rage he's got a lot of util or a lot of his kit 
to work with here. He can make some plays. Finds Emmis. He has that intel. He drops down. Finds one onto him, but he ends up going down to slap shortly after. And now just kind of waiting. He knows he's not gonna he's not gonna self res himself in order for Right Journal right. to get another knock. So four to two. Still the attacking side of Cute Hamster with the lead. The best this can go to halftime is a 4-3 if the defense are able to take this next round. Yeah, it is. Um, Cute Hamster so far have been having a lead, but Right Turtle were able to get a lot of kills earlier on. They're swinging together when they swung uh, two around a corner and was able to get a pick on one of the members of Cute Hamster. Um, it ended up working out a lot better for them. And I think that's sort of the type of play it is that we need to, need to see. Instead of it be, them being the aggressor, I think they need to be the answer um, to, to Cute Hamster's sort of for, more forward play style. Frag out this time. Maybe he has the stalker padded. He's coming around the box. I don't know about that drone. Oh, that no, I don't like it either. That did not find any damage. <laughs> and then Frag out just jumps on top of the box and finds the damage with his gun. Oh my goodness, Emmis. There's an there's a mess over there. They need a clean up on that aisle. As Fragout was able to do it. Fragout comes around, finds a no. Oh my wow, goodness. Wow, man. Excuse me, that was slop this time around. But Frag is trying to find the revive. Both of them got the Nathan Drake Uncharted skins going on here. It's hard to tell who's who there for a moment as we're quick swapping. Bomb has been planted. Slop finds another one onto Gronky. I don't know how many times Slop has killed Gronky. It's about four four times now this game. So that, that seemed like it's starting to be a little rivalry as he finishes him off. Balsa <laughs> finds Frag trying to creep around the corner here. Shock once again tries to find the backside of I finds him. Pulsa goes down. It's a 2v1 defense. Only Slop left alive. Padded steps stalkering around, but it doesn't matter <laughs> when he's behind you. Hiding in the corner. Delena finishes him off. 5-2. to two. We're going to the half. Yeah, that is uh, that you are going to the half. You are correct on that one. They are now having a 5-2 to two lead. I want to see if there's any draft adaptations made here. I, I, I think that having a little bit more intel prevents cute hamster from playing as far forward as they want it to. Um, and they are going to draft the Dallas here this time around. Um, you got Kestrel, Dallas, Dahlia, Chalk. And I think that's a wonderful draft on the attacker side. Now you have cute hamster being the defenders and drafting the trench here. I, I do like the trench, especially on a map like this, having lessening somebody's movement as a whole means that you now have to be a little bit more concerned with how aggressive you can play right because it cuts off certain areas you have to move slowly through the barbed wire um and you have to answer it and so since that's the case trench sort of puts a stop to that more aggressive style of play yes next patch the barb's gonna do damage while you're in it so People are going yeah, to be yeah. a little bit more right. cautious, possibly. Maybe even waste a little bit more lethals like, like grenades and such to take care of it. We'll have to see. But for right now, it doesn't do any damage. We do have an update in the bracket. Definitely not ready. Was able to beat out Brave Sheep to move on to the other side of the winner's, the winner's semifinals. That matchup will be coming up on broadcast after this one. Gronky gets taken out very early in the back of B. Smokes did come out to cut off that midsection. Frag out playing trench snuck around is in the mid cut near that small zip now i think they might have an idea that he's there they do have the bomb still in their possession still haven't planted it this is something right turtle has struggled to understand is that they they kind of take too long to get bomb plants and they end up losing games because of it Sometimes they get a little too aggressive with the bomb and run a little too far ahead. They might be trying to make a rotation towards the A site here. From the defender's side of the map. The blue team is cute hamster. I mean, you would think that they're on attack right oh, now, but that is not the case as it is half number two. Prosper, a couple shots and then an incend that he picked off of someone. Finishes off one. Highlight goes down as well. 
That revive did come through onto Frag, however, so he is back up and standing. And just as I say that, he gets knocked once again. Oh, Emis finishes off that fourth member. And uh, the attackers, I mean, it was 5-2 on the attacking side of Cute Hamster. Now it's one nothing. This could be looking like an attack-sided map from what we've gathered here today. Yeah, for right now, it seems like things are going to be a little bit more pressure oriented in terms of right turtle they were able to get the bomb on site pretty easily same way that we saw cute hamster sort of overtake site last time around i i, I think that that's all thanks um mostly to the potential of having the the dahlia means that people can play a little bit more for it. they can get res from anywhere um obviously if dahlia is within a certain range they can get res from uh, anywhere within that range and I think that allows them to play even a slight bit more aggressive. Obviously, running and linking to trench as well means that you're going to have more of an opportunity to. Um, to oh have my that. goodness! Oh my goodness! No Delano way does he get a double, double nade. nade fawn. And oh, he gets he another one. He gets a third one. one. Hello, this? Delana, with the double nades linking to the trench gives him that second frag grenade in his kit. Gets a double with the first one. Finds a third member, a third knock with that second grenade going absolutely nuts. Nice cooks, nice little angles that he played with it as well. Knows exactly where to put those. We've seen him do that time after time. And look who was all the way behind them. It doesn't matter. Delana finds that kill, just a fraction of health. And that is a, a 4K. I mean, he killed all four members that round. A double and then a single with nades, and then he finishes off slop to end the round. Comes in with only six downs, leaves it with ten. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, almost an ace, honestly. <laughs> four kills. It was a 4K an ace. already present to him. It's, 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 uh,. Definitely something I would be concerned about, you know? Like, it's, it's, Delana finding a grenade like that 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 there's no shot that happens again <laughs> like like I, I i don't think that i think that right turtle have learned their lesson they're going to try and opt to go for a different angle here a different perspective yeah, they're spreading out and going to new a outlook B, huh? on life yeah exactly that, that's what i'm saying like there's no way that happens again because we're not going to try and funnel in through there that was a beautiful nate delana setting that up and winning that first team that that round that specific round for his team um with great placement you can't ever complain about that you know what? I, I want to give a big, huge shout out and thanks to Delena, actually. Okay, because last week I noticed okay. he changed his name back to Delena. All right, he, he's, he mm. might be done fooling no around. Confusion. He's is he throwing some more nades out there? Yeah, it's just simple. I mean, that's his that's his name. Be proud of it, man. Keep that name out there as he's trying to get some shots on the slot, but he ends oh, up losing that battle overall. Highlight did find Emmys, finished him off as well. Even trade coming through, but still. The defense has the upper hand considering they knocked two, finished them off. Find highlight is slop. Now that offense once again up three to one as they are chasing down frag mm -hmm. and they'll finish them off. Prosper with the pistol getting that action on 10 knocks for slop doing a lot of the dirty work. Pulsa on the chalk, only two knocks. I, that's granted. I'm okay with that. I mean, they went towards B. It's kind of wide open. He's got the SMG. His job is to plant the bomb primarily. Slop's walking around doing most of the damage. Yeah, the smoke into the bomb plant, I think, was is, is just a play it is that we've been seeing that's not only so common, but like more than consistently enough netting people rounds because they have to worry about post plant. You're not just fighting to kill the other team. You're playing against the clock because that bomb is ticking ever so slightly. And you have to make sure that you get to it in time, obviously, to, to defuse it. They're playing around the same angle again. And I like the fact that they're running this angle once more. Um, they're just opting to go for the B side. And I, I, I last time, Q Hamster's defense on the, on the side of B has nothing, nothing to do with the players. But I, I think that overall, their, their defensive positioning was a little bit weaker. Um, and it allowed that smoke really to cut off line of sight. They couldn't push through it. Um, because they will be pushing into the enemy team and not know where everybody is. They just get lit up. And um, I, I think it makes it easier for them to try and take this. They slowly make their way in. They don't know where everybody is just trying to opt to do something about it. And the barbed wire gets brought down immediately. 
Yeah, the smokes are playing a massive part. Wow, in the he got both him. Both teams on the attacking side. Prosper finds a nade into the corner. Look at this drone placement. That one works wow, out, Emmis. That's man. how you use your drones right there. Ends up finishing off the kill on the Gronky. Didn't finish the second one, but it was enough to help the team push into that corner. Take control of that side of the map. Now they're trying to push the rest of the defense out. Emmis Pulsa wow, getting the dirty work done there. Nice job from Emmis this time around. Yeah, 6-5 right now. That gap is closing. They're one more round away from tying this one up on the side of right turtle. That grenade was huge, which is why the fact that I mentioned it, I was like, wow, they actually managed to get him because it puts them not only in a precarious position on the side of Q Hamster, but it forces them to have to pick him up because they don't want to lose somebody that early. That lines up the perfect drone setup that we saw from Emmis. He gets the downs, he gets the kills, they get the round, and obviously we're into the next one to try and see if Red Turtle can tie it up. Be interested to see if they go towards that B site once again. They've had a lot of success on that side of the map, whether it was on defense or offense. Gronky might possibly be going for a little bit of a flank. I don't know if they n will notice. Again, they have the Dallas on their side, either. but not really any much more intel coming for the defending cute hamsters i mean they do have track arounds that can come out from both trench and vi but i doubt those are online especially the way that these rounds have been going one to three so far in this second half for them taking things a little bit slower this time mm -hmm. have to have an idea oh my goodness getting very aggressive oh, but missing his shots he EMP'd him so that the drones couldn't come out through an incend, but Highlight shakes that fire off, walks to the left. He doesn't miss his shots. He hits him. Slop goes down. Early pick for the defense might just be the deciding factor. Uh oh, the Claymore. A double. The a Claymore. Finishes him off with the trip mine as well, but gets a double trip mine kill. Oh, wow, my. Dude. Dash your hands off. Pack it up, boys. <laughs> like, Shout out like that's to the exactly dev team, the type by of the way, because mm -hmm. there was a bug where, like, you couldn't see in the kill feed when people got down by trip mines. And, like, now we can. So now we know. You just got double with a trip no, mine. Exactly like, we wouldn't have seen that before, right? It's awesome. And it's even better when you actually see it happen, right? <laughs> like it's, 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 oh, it's, it's so, it's so the, the, refreshing. The aggression, the aggression on the side of right turtle to try and see if they can at least rotate around, reposition themselves, see if they can put themselves in a better spot than last time, ends up with them getting killed by the double claymore. That's so unfortunate on the side of right turtle. There's one more round. Q Hamster are on game point right now to see if they can take this very first map against right turtle. Man, we've seen some really good nades come out of Delana. Now we've seen some really good trip mines come out. It's not even upgraded once there. You can kind of tell by how long the the lasers are, I guess you can say. Mm -hmm. APS takes care of whatever they just threw at Delana. Trench doing a good job. He says, you know what? You're linking to me. I'm going to try and keep you alive. Nice shots ringing from that rifle, the HRM. Dahlia kind of saying, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm going back with my Kestrel over there. Let me go over there. <laughs> Dallas being slop, playing in mid. Chalk with the bomb. That's Pulsa. Frag out, getting taken out. Slop. Oh, my oh, goodness. Yeah. Pulsa jumping in. D40 to the face. You ain't going to beat that, especially if it starts shooting first. Now the rotation coming through. Look where Highlight is. He's stuck between... Members of Right Turtle, they take them out. Prosper, Slop, working together there. Kind of sandwiched them. Highlight got stuck in the middle like the filling of an Oreo. Delena, they're on the other side, but it's okay. He knows this might not be an opportunity for him to clutch it up. Tries to kill himself yeah. with his own nade, but he even failed at that. Mostly because he has tenacity, <laughs> probably. He's got tenacity online, yeah, so, so, you know, can't even kill himself. Now he's going to 
run into the team and just give them extra cash. He doesn't want to jump off the map because he'll lose money. So he tries to just nade himself and because of tenacity, it doesn't work. Right, so he has to just run into him. Doesn't want to don't want to lose any money for the next round. You'd rather obviously just keep it all, whatever it is that you're about to get. At the same time, though, seven you don't to give six. them money. Right, of course. I mean, yeah, but it's like, you know, like what what do you do in that situation? <laughs> like like you either lose or they gain. Like it's 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 no in between. Um the grenade would have been the telltale story there, but he can't unfortunately. As everyone makes their way back into the fray. For what is still match point for cute hamster, right turtle are slowly closing that lead. They win another one. They tie, and they're taking us to a final game one point. Seven to six. We could see a seven seven overtime coming if and only if Right Turtle are able to take this round. Look at where Trench is playing this time, kind of swapping things up, playing very aggressive on the B site behind the console. Mm -hmm. Has, I think, all three APSs right at his feet as well. Stop anything from coming in. He's not going to peak too early. He most likely sees Emmis. Doesn't want to make a move. And look at where his oh, barbed man. wires are as he finally makes the move. Finishes off Emmis. And look where this barb is. I was going to say this. Oh, oh nice save from name. Delena. Finds uh. another one. And now they will collapse. They have the bomb in their possession as well. Prosper, the only member standing. Another nade comes through. Prosper threw his as well. Matching nades. Prosper got the most out of his, but... The most out of the objection came to Delena there. Eight to six in favor of Cute Hamster. They take game number one here. A lot of knocks coming out of that support from Delena, mainly because of his ability to use those nades to the best of his advantage. Mm -hmm. But Fawn, what else did you like from that game? I enjoyed the overall um the the, uh, the overall objective fights because it always seemed like it went back and forth i mean the final score was eight to six that's no tall order here and you're talking about both of these guys having played each other for so long and i think i got a little bit of what it was i was asking for in the very beginning i was asking about right turtle hey step it up you know like you guys have played against q hamster for so many times time and time again you guys have been doing great phenomenally at playing but whenever they fight cute hamster, it seems like they've always had like a little bit off for that game to end eight to six means that we probably still have plenty more fight left in right turtle, which is great. That's the type of perspective it is that you need to see. But I think that cute hamster overall just felt in control. Was that match? Of course, you got to have the replay, but you also got to mention you're talking about one of my favorite moments. It was this. It was Delana with the double nade getting three different members of right turtle there's no situation where that doesn't happen um but well, well, well there's no situation where that does happen often like you barely see them getting a double down and then even having another nade and toss it out and get another kill after that um you mentioned like like i mentioned that i mentioned the, the kestrel drones the nade to down gronky and they're using the kestrel drones to keep the pressure on and it ends up with them getting another round right turtle uh have, have some great plays just like cute hamster have so i'm excited to see this king of the hill as they ban anvil and vi tell me a little bit about that uh blue why the vi here you got any ideas well vi is just something we see on king of the hill also you have to imagine playing on glacier everything is very tight space tightly uh, spaced right there's so many right, yeah. confined spaces on this map especially objective i mean hill number four in the basement that's mm -hmm. like poison craze down there as well as that beginning objective that first one hill number one it's at the top or the the second floor whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it right there inside that little room with just a little barrier in the middle splitting it off so poison each side she can have 125 health to her name in a matter of seconds but we are going yeah. to game number two here on glacier anvil Vi being banned out. I still want to know what that Vi skin is that is on. Whenever we see Vi banned, she has this weird skin that we've never seen in game. So I want to know where that came from, of course. But Cute Hamster lead over Right Turtle 1-0 in the matchup. We are going to game number two.
This is semifinals of the winner's bracket. Remember, if you lose this, you're not out completely. You will drop down to that loser's bracket where some teams are still playing right now. If we go ahead and take a look at that, mm. we've got Baboon Gang facing up against Pink Miss, Brave Sheep versus B-Dine, 436 Clan versus Sunday 10K, and Banana Smoothies versus Lagger. But heading back to this matchup, we have Fixer coming out for Slop, and we see this every time when he's available. We see Slop pick it up. Yeah, and I, I, I think that I'm not too sure how I feel. I was just thinking about like how I felt about Fixer on this map exclusively. Um, I don't know if I agree with having Fixer on the Glacier. Once again, if there's one person to prove me wrong, it would be Slop. <laughs> so I, 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 um, I, I genuinely think that there are better choices than him on this map. Um, but it is good to be able to see him. One of the first times he's not banned because people typically feel like they're Vi and Anvil are both more worthy bans than Fixer on this map. But hey, uh, it only time will be able to tell. Yes, and you are correct. Hey, King of the Hill, 100% Anvil pick rate if he's not banned still rings true because he was banned. So there's no ability to pick him. Speaking of ability, a lot of them coming out. Look at Slop has to back up. He was get, trying to get aggressive and he will as he finds one. And Emmis on the Lancer, something we've seen time after time with that flank on this map, especially comes in clutch at the perfect time. Gets mm. stuck with a nade, but he ends up finishing the down beforehand. Highlight now all alone until his respawns come through. And this objective being controlled by right turtle. Remember, you don't get that full timer on hill number one just because it starts when you're dropping from the plane. Finally, they finish him off, but Pulsa finds another one as well, and they lead 33 to 6 as the rotation towards hill number two is starting. You're already. Kronky's trying to move around as they moved on to the next active hill. Slop gets another down. Same thing for MSN Pulsa. One kill apiece means three members on the side of Q Hamster are already gone. Delana is one of the only ones surviving, and he manages to get one down, but even still, like, this is, this has been a pretty right turtle-looking game so far. I mean, it, it's been all over the place, but they've had more and more control. It just seems like now Cute Hamster are trying to sit into the driver's seat, trying to get their own perspective behind them. Behind them so right now, and that's exactly what's happening here. Highlight Gronky sneaking in from behind, trying to find some more. Waving that controller joystick around and around, trying to get any sort of bullets to hit people. Spraying and praying as he's walking around. And now Pulsa on the objective, grabbing some more points. There was 13 that came in favor of Cute Hamster. But again, that timer is ticking down. And the points are ticking up. It's 65 and climbing for right turtle. This is something we saw at the beginning of May in our 10K event for that month. Respawn modes very early on were going in favor of right turtle over cute hamster in their matchups together. But towards the end, cute hamster, especially Gronky, started to pick it up and become really good respawn players. Now they're starting to rotate hill number three is active 55 seconds remaining that's 55 total points available incense comes out slc with the ability pop but because she is immune to fire she's just gonna not care about that walks through it she still ends up dying flashbang being picked up did find a hit off of it but turns around and gets taken down by pulsa as he will try and help this flip Flashbang comes out from him as well. Prosper finds another down on the highlight. Rage up from Pulsa. He's going to come up the stairs from the basement. Looks towards that objective. But it is in control by Cute Hamsters. They are looking to oh. get some points on the board. Down by 60. Slop. Pulse. Now Slop finding another down. Three straight. But Slop finally falls to that fourth member in highlight. Yeah, for right now. 94 to 42. Right Turtle have been doing the work necessary to make sure they can at least take this round. They've been in control for quite some time and they're even ready for the next one. It seems like Q Hamster have genuinely been struggling to try and fight into this composition or this draft, these players. But even still, Q Hamster managed to clean up shop around the submarine. They get the kills, yeah, they that... get the point capture, and they keep control. 
Yeah, pretty much hill numbers one through three are money hills because you do not want to have <laughs> to depend on this hill to be your winning hill, to be the winning objective for you, especially with no Vi or Anvil to break you into this mm -hmm. hill. Now just walking through, highlight gets taken down. Paul's the, starting to become that shock monster in this game. Can he turn on him? Yes, he can. See you oh, later, wow. Elena. 180, can he find it again? No, sir. Finally, someone takes him out, being Gronky. MS sitting to the left side inside that tunnel. Prosper comes in with them. Gronky sitting on top of the lead, jumps oh, up. Wow. Couldn't find no the rest way. of the shots. MS finds one with the Semtex. MS finds another one with his gun, the 24S. Slop finds one with the Deadeye Pulse. It comes in, finishes him off. He's in the smoke. The only one that can see no through way. it. Pistol. He has to reload one of his guns. It's going to be the pistol. Flashbang comes out, finds one. 101 to 82. It's climbing for the red team. But. Pulsa finds another one. Pulsa finds a second one. Finishes off. Pulsa finds another one. That's it. And wow, that's just the round. Dude. Right, Turtle. That that's 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 the play. That's how you have to go about it. Like on top of that, I thought that they were going to be able to hold on for a little bit longer on the side of Cute Hamster. They were able to win trades time and time again. They were able to sit on that point, cause the sudden death. But at the end of the day right turtle were just on their p's and q's they 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 came down to the objective you saw a lot of times repulsa was able to keep the pressure on him and him being by submarine everyone just kept funneling in it just came down to who would get there faster who who had died sooner than others who had died a little bit later it it, it, it became more of a, a question of who died later than it did sooner um, the longer the round went on because you needed more bodies to filter back onto that point. If they would have won that trade on the side of Q Hamster, things obviously would have went a lot differently, but it seems like they want to start off with just as aggressive on this side of right turtle this round. Oh, and look at Emis on his patented little flank there coming in a little bit delayed on that first <laughs> hill, but he ends up getting taken down in the back. Highlight did find another one on the slop. 16 nothing. This is something cute hamster have been accustomed to. First hill, they play it very tightly, very close knit with their enemy. Second hill, they absolutely, or second round, they absolutely dominate. Look at that grenade coming in. Wow. Is he able to find it? Yes, but Emis returns the favor with his Semtex himself. They down each other. 29 to 0 now trying to gain this second hill rotation comes through it's successful as well as capturing that objective the hills in their favor still no score at all for right turtle after winning round number one hmm. this is like for right now the cute hamster are still trying to maintain their control overall frag out manages to get one kill there's two of them they trade out two for two and they haven't really conceded yet. Delena manages to kill Slop and downs Prosper in the same vein. 60 to nothing so far. Cute Hamsters seem to be way more in control of this round than they were of last one. But the question is, have they managed to adapt? Or is this just a lack of momentum on the side of right turtle? It seems like for right now, they're, they're playing under. They probably want to sweep under and around um, to see if they can get any sort of presence onto the objective. But that clock is ticking down. There's only 14 seconds left. I imagine they start heading towards the next objective, which I believe the people by submarine already are by. It's just becoming way harder for them to try and make it past this. They are holding this angle extremely well as Prosper pushes up and tries to get Frag out, but he's not going to be able to get him. But Frag out's not going to leave either. The C4 get him? He does. And Slop manages to get that down. Ooh, the C not leaving cost him his life there as the C4 did come in yeah. successfully. And now look at Emis on this flank. Once again, quick and quiet popped, and it's no longer there since he was able to start firing away. He did find the kill. Semtex, that's not going to find anything, but don't tell Emis. He doesn't know at the moment. Flashbang coming in. Double flashbang that he picked up off of that shock that he just downed. Looks like he's trying to pick up the weapon. And look at this already. Highlight says, you know what? You just killed me. I want revenge, and I'm going to start rotating, but he doesn't get it. He goes up the stairs, starts getting shot at by different teammates. 
Finally, Frag's able to take out Emis. It kind of double peaked him there. Only 20 seconds remaining on this third hill. Rotations coming in for that last and final. It's looking like it might be a cute hamster's round this time. And we're going to go to overtime. Pulsa and Emis did find one apiece. But Delena, he's making up for it himself. Finds three. Yeah, it seems like the score being 130 to 20. Right Toller are going to need a miracle to be able to cash out this one. Because Elena manages to down Pulsa. They have to find some sort of way in. They put a beautiful bounce. Nate, he gets down, but they get the trade for it. And that makes it all the better on the side of Cute Hamster. This area has seemed to be the area that Right Toller are most comfortable in. They've held Submarine so well multiple times and um i definitely think yeah, that you have are having too. an issue trying to run into it <laughs> look at prosper back and forth this staircase the other staircase yeah. back and forth able to just turn get the knocks i mean like you said they must seem like they're comfortable in this last hill but i don't just i just don't understand how anyone could be comfortable in this hill it is so dangerous especially when you've got double pushes coming through on both sides of the map, but they just don't care. Slop putting it all on the line with that dead eye in his hand. He's also picked up a D40C as well. SLC in the hands of Lancer. Dodge reload coming in clutch. Did find one themselves. 130 on the board for cute hamsters. 84 and counting. For the side of right turtle but they still have a ways to go oh, wow. in this sudden death they can't even step off one time but even still they, they they just filtered in three kills for themselves blue i mean like highlight gets one but will this be enough for them it doesn't seem like it they have had this unlock in its entirety they get frag out and by the time they were able to get what they need the other teammates are already back. They are filtering in on the side of Q Hamster, though. They're getting the kills. They're getting the knockdowns. That's going to be a round loss for right turtle. Cute Hamster tie this up at 1-1 on King of the Hill. I mean, that does make sense. That's a pretty long hold they would have to bring in at the end of that game for right turtle. So, you know, they didn't lose the game just yet. They ended up losing that round. So we will go to overtime. Remember, it's the first Control team to score two. Point in the king of the hill look at this 21 downs for delena but take a look at emis 33 downs 44 <laughs> eliminations ah emis back with right turtle and rightfully so as he is making some massive plays on this lancer in this game number two yeah as they make their way back to the place that starts it all you do manage to get Someone, one. Okay, Delaney we got to keep down. up with him. If he hits 60, I'm going to be impressed. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's plausible now, you know, with how back and forth this game has been going. I, I think that's a possibility, you know? I think it's possible to see him hit 60. 60 elims at the most. 60 elims, I'll be impressed because that's 16 this round. As he finds one, mm -hmm. finds two. Slop takes another on the frag and Prosper finds Gronky as well. Everything is going well for right turtle. It's not wrong turtle this game. The <laughs> rotation coming through. They're trying to get there early. Last round, we saw a complete shutout almost halfway through the round from the side of cute hamster this time it's looking oh and just as i say that they get some garbage time so it'll be 46 0 before those five points start to come in and they already have control of the next next objective as well and they are just firing away pulsa trying to play but he knows Delena's holding him here. He might pop out as soon as his health is up, and that's exactly what's going to happen. He's spraying. The smoke helped out Delena, but the self res is coming through. Highlight. He finally falls. Delena finally falls. Pulsa went down as well. Even trades coming out. But Emma's found another one. Right turtle hitting the gas as well. As they've managed to keep the pressure on the cute hamster, making them... Rethink a little bit. The C4 gets tossed out. How huge will this be? It gets one down and takes care of 90 HP on the other target. That's going to be two kills already available. 
as they are able to find they're able to find the kills it's just they've been struggling to try and take this side from right turn that's all q hamster is more so a bit concerned about i'd imagine this groovy peeks up gets another kill as well and there goes prosper logic they're finally able to touch it at least for just a little bit but Every point fight has been a struggle for Q Hamster. This oh, round and beautiful oh, axe around the, the corner right the in the one. shoulder. I thought he was going to find the second one with that axe after he picked it up off of the, the Delena's face. He hit him in the face and then just like pulled it out, turned around, tried to get another one with it. Wasn't able to. He finally fell. 89 and counting. In this fourth hill, it's going to be the deadly one. 34 points for the side of Cute Hamster. This is the deciding round. Highlight finds Prosper with the Katana. Gronky finds another one. Highlight found another one as well. And the trades are coming back and forth. Only 30 seconds left in this third hill. That means the fight is going to start happening in the basement. And that's what it's going to come down to. 50 now. As it will get neutralized, garbage time will go in favor of Right Turtle. Look who's already in the bottom, waiting for that hill to rotate. It's Emis and Slop, both playing on Submarine. Pulsa's already down there as well. Slop finds one. He has a 24S in his hand as well. Mm. And already the trades are coming through. Look at Emis. Show me his score. Does he have 60 or what? Yeah, yeah. I want to see. How, how many eliminations does Emis have? Is it 60? Is it close to 60? What, what, what is, is the is the score for them? Show me those elims, baby. Will he hit the 60? Because he just found another one on the highlight. Yeah, and for right now, they aren't looking to give up this objective without a fight either. Right, Turtle have been in control multiple times throughout this match. And now here we are in a situation that keeps the pressure going on to him. Slot manages to get a highlight, but even still, Ooh, five Hamster seconds, to try and find some way to make need. it back onto the five objective. Seconds. No way he gets two. He gets two. Really Emis finds really another matters. double. Finds another one after that. Finds another one after that. Emis cannot be stopped on the Lancer here in game number two, as Right Turtle will even this matchup out at one apiece. A dominant performance. I want to know how many Absolutely. elims and downs he had. I want to know. I couldn't even yeah. catch it on the, the little delay there with the stream in front of me. I couldn't <laughs> catch it. I need to mm. know right now. Somebody tell me how many he had. He had 44 and 33 going into that round. I need to know because he just went crazy. Mm. Von, other than Emis, what went well for Right Turtle? Because you were skeptical. I think it was. Skeptical about that fixer right i was I, I was a little bit skeptical about it and obviously i could eat my words on that one right i i definitely think that the fixer um may not have been the most pivotal character on the side of right turtle but it definitely was a welcome uh, a, a welcome addition and i i think that it started going right for them ironically enough started going right for right turtle when it it it's they started forcing a lot of these fights onto the uh into the submarine the submarine was absolutely their best point it was back and forth for the first two every single round the submarine was easily the worst point for cute hamster to try and contest the take from them um i think they're just so used to playing that specific that that, that specific objective and it you can tell because of how they're holding they have three people holding around um the the they have three people holding one by their staircase that's watching the opposing staircase you have one that's watching the secret little entrance right here that you see m is firing off in and then you have um one that's watching uh the other secret entrance you know and it wasn't often that we saw that right turtle uh, not right turtle, excuse me cute hamster tried to flank or do anything of the sort because whenever they did they were easily easily answered back by right turtle uh, I I really want to know his elims. Do 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 we do we have that information? I, someone, at all? Do we have some it ready? people just told me. Uh, we've got two people that just told me. One of them I know is uh, usually a right turtle fan, but sixty one eliminations. Wow, so got impressive because that would be sixteen. Wow. He ended up getting seventeen. I think like fifteen of them were his own knocks wow. as well. So, Emis man, just. 
putting the team on his back, especially in that late third round. Whoo, man. Two to one, the yeah. score in game number two <laughs> on Glacier. Right Turtle are able to win that and even it out at one apiece. We're going to Skyfell for game number three. And it's going to be a strikeout. This is going to be interesting I, I, because we haven't seen strikeout on Skyfell in a while. And then on top of that, we're also like after this match, we're heading right back on in into another King of the Hill. Um, this is interesting as well. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that we haven't seen strikeout on Skyfell because I, I actually don't remember the last time I actually saw a strikeout on Skyfell. Typically, it's demolition. Typically, it's the game it three. Typically, it's the game five. And it's... um. It is a interesting map to play strikeout on because I feel like that this is a lot harder to hold um, than some of the other plays. Oh, sorry, not a lot harder to hold. Uh, yeah, no, I was right. A lot harder to hold um, depending on who has the objective control because of how wide this map can be. There's a lot of angles that you have to watch, and a lot of those can't always be watched because of how wide this map can typically be. But we see the Dahlia, we see the Chalk, the Kestrel, the Seeker. And I, I I agree. I think I think that seeker is a, is a great pick here because you need to be able to have that intel. You need to be able to know exactly where it is that people are going because of this being a wider map. There's a lot of corners that you can hide behind everywhere except for like mid is one of the more like open contestable sites. Um, and I guess if you play by like a um, over on the left hand side, if you're looking from, I believe it is the no. You, if you're on the right looking from defense spawn um, in that little marketplace area. Uh, you, you you can really contest and try and see if you can fight there. That's another more open sight line. Um, but I, I I like both of these drafts as well. You need the intel on this map, though, and, I, and that's what I wanted to make sure that I pointed out. So the bands that came through were Fixer and Vi. So Fixer, obviously mm. Cute Hamster, went back to their original band. They said, okay, we need – don't let Slop get that because that allows – uh, someone to go pretty crazy when Fixer is kind of holding us in check through a smoke. Uh, but we're going to see Lancer coming back out for Emmis this time on Skyfell. Can he mm -hmm. do it again? Can he have another breakout performance on the Lancer in another respawn game mode to keep his team in this and give them the lead in the matchup as well? First to three here in the strikeout on Skyfell in game number three. Lancer already on the run so far. Already at on the He gets more shots already. Yeah, and he gets two off of that. They clean up. I blinked. It was over. I blinked and it Hello? was over. Hello? That's. You they, just, they just, you just up. went through this, cute hamster. They literally just cleaned up. Like, they pushed out and then they got the. No, and Gronky goes down. They don't even get Delena, but he's low. Gronky goes down. Pulsa gets Delena. They, this is. What happened? They get some juice. What are they drinking? Is this what? What's what's happening over there on Right Turtles team? What's going on? This is like the exact opposite of how we've been seeing them play in the very first in the very first game, and yet the second one and this one seem to be on point. They've been on top oh, of but, everything. Yeah, but look at Gronky. He makes some plays finally with a double kill to his name. Now he has the double primary set up, 24S with that Riptide starting to rotate towards that right side. He can see where he's being shot from. Doesn't have his adrenaline shot just yet. Prosper makes a little bit oh, of a climb wow. towards him, but Emmis is behind him again. Wow. Emmis is behind Man. them again. Cute hamster falling for that quick and quiet once more as Emmis is starting to rotate. Maybe that's why the Seeker came out, trying to get some intel. Skyfell, a very intel-dependent map. That's why you see a lot of Dallas's on it. Pulsa finds another one. Prosper finishes them off. But Pulsa finds another one. And Emmis, with a Riptide this time, finds Frag. They just will not. Look at this. Immunity. He doesn't care. He'll lose his life. Wants to keep them in check. Wants to keep them from pushing up as much as possible. Even if that means costing his life because he's shooting him. Oh, what a at bounce, the nade. bounce nade. And the round is over that quickly. Right, Turtle? They are trying to stamp their name as the better respawn team against Cute Hamster. Down one nothing in the set. Win the King of the Hill. Now they're up one nothing here in game number three for the strikeout. 
Okay, right turtle. I see you. I see you. The Pally boys. I see them over there on the right hand side. I'm 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 glad to see them really bring out this sort of new this new look for them. This 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 feels different, and I'm glad that it does because this is important. You gotta make sure that you have that competition. It needs to stay contested. And right turtle are looking better by the minute. Even lands the <laughs> even lands the bow and arrow. Chucks them for eighty. Flashes all around. No one contesting the objective yet, but Right Turtle have made it there. And this is not looking good for Q Hamster. Look at how low Frag Out and Delana are on the right. Highlight's the only one. They can't even swing to see if they can trade him. Slop finally finds Delana, but look at MS behind again. Finds Gronky. Gronky, you gotta turn around, man. I don't know if Q Hamster are listening to music right now in their ears. I would assume they aren't, but it's, <laughs> it looks like they are. Quick and quiet. Emis yeah, putting the is. boots on silent and going nuts as he finds even more success. Look at this bounce nade. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Slopadopolis. Gronky cannot catch a break this game. Eight respawns available for Cute Hamster. 15 wow, for the side of Right Turtle. That means only one Elim has come through. And look at this. Another one. Frag. Emis is just taking him out. Has Stalker most likely turns a corner. Can he win this fight? Yes. Oh, Highlight finally able to take care of Emis for the time being. Pulsa, though, did find Delana, so it's an even trade once more. But again, I mean, they had 15 to 8. Now it's 14 to 5, soon to be 4. The respawns are just bleeding out way too quickly for Q to answer here, Fawn. Yeah, they are. Uh... 13 to 2. There's two lives left in the bank. In the reserves, make that one life. One of them was currently respawned. They've got one more ticket remaining on the side of Q Hamster. Emmis is right there. I think that he knows. He does. Pushes out. He has to get the kill here, and they do manage to get it. That was looking very dicey on the side of Q Hamster. One of them could have still ended up being brought down. They make highlight at half HP. Same thing for Prosper. They don't realize that one of them just zip lined all the way in the back. There are three of them are on top of Emis right oh now. As highlight goes down, Pulsa gets killed too. Man, oh man. That's one already gone on the side of Cute Hamster. Right Turtle still in control of this map. Yeah, it's essentially man. 15 to 3 there for a moment. And Right Turtle. Finding another win in the round column. Mm. Only one away from taking the lead in this set. Then they go back to another king of the hill, like you mentioned. Something they were successful at. Man, look mm -hmm. at the downs. Highlight with only one. Frag with only one. And you're like, yeah, calm down. Blue, Frag's playing Dahlia. Well, he's only got one revive as well. Right turtle not letting up off the gas pedal. I mean, their lowest is seven right now. Putting in yeah. the work. Kind of splitting it up. I'll tell you why. Gronky might be able to meet Emis halfway this time. But I think Emis has a drop on him oh, and he but, does. But he wasn't ready. Emis he wasn't finds ready. Gronky once again. Oh my goodness. I mean, top went down oh to goodness, Delana's the bounce name, but it doesn't matter. Emis finds another one with the Semtex. Dodge roll for the reload. And now his team's there to help. But it's a little too late for them. Highlight finds a double kill. And Emis finds Highlight. Can someone please stop this man on Lancer today? Can someone see? Can we see the scoreboard? I, I don't even like. I, I just want to know. How much does Emis have this time around? Tw he, he has 24. 24. So he hasn't been pushing the 40s yet. Not right now. I think this game's been going by too quick. I think everybody on the side of Right Turtle has been popping off exclusively this game. I think it's hard for anybody to answer. Grenade gets tossed out. Grunky with the double bounce. Oh my goodness. What is this, man? This back and forth is consistent. Not going to take it yet. What is this? Q Hamster with the, with the anime power up? What? You're never going to hurt my friends? Is that, is that what's happening like right here. now? It might be eight all for both teams. And just as I say that, they lose one for the blue team being cute hamster. And now look at the push coming in. Prosper on the chalk, something we haven't seen in a long time and not very often as well. Highlight, however, does find one. Pulsa and Prosper, they respond, but Delena got Prosper. Didn't matter, however, five to four. This round a lot closer 
back and forth between these two teams here. Oh, look at this. Stalking his prey. Stalking. Stalking his prey. But even still, they still are in control over the objective here this entire time. Three seconds left before they lose another life, whether this, somebody was downed or somebody was killed or not. And they are going to lose another one. They even managed to get frag out as well. There's this only one life remaining once again for cute hamster. Or two, excuse me, two lives remaining for cute hamster once again. I I, I, I don't quite know what to, what to say in reference to this. This has just been a back and forth. Things have been happening so quickly. So many bodies piling up one after the other. Yes, but three lives just taken off the board for right turtle. Emis, though, finds a double kill. So there's no more respawns Emis available. Emis They've again? been used up. And shock goes down afterwards. So he has to get rezzed. But that won't happen. He will fall. He did find a trade. Four members standing for the side of right turtle. They have no oh, respawns. Proper Proper turns a corner. Gets shot, but finds the win against Elena. Now look at Emis. Ripe for the taking. Oh, but the, the guy that's looking it. at him gets flash banged. And that's it. It's all over. Strikeout. Three nothing in favor of Right Turtle. And now they lead the set. They were down one to zero after that game mm. number one demolition. Now they're up two to one due to the first two respawns in this matchup. And now the third and final respawn coming through will be another king of the hill. Fawn. Right yeah. Turtle's making some plays here. <laughs> making some changes too i mean like i'm uh, this is exactly what i was talking about when we very first started this set i'm like cute hamster right turtle these two have seen each other so many times in semifinals they've seen each other so many times so many times fighting each other again and again and again week after week i wanted to see this adaptation from right turtle i wanted to see them bring it to cute hamster because this is the time to do it you want to be able to win this they wanted it they work hard and it's paying off. That was clinical. From the King of the Hill to the strikeout, and now we're going back to King of the Hill. Cute hamster have to step it up, or they're 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 being sent to the abyss. I I I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. I'm trying to I'm trying to look and see if there's any like crazy picks that can come in for cute hamster on King of the Hill. I mean, last week mm. in the cute in the cute hamsters versus definitely not ready matchup, we saw Frag playing Lancer. I mean, they banned out yeah. Secret that game as well. I expect Fixer to be banned out once again. If we're looking at Cute Hamsters versus Hefty Cormorant in the finals of last week's qualifier, uh, mm -hmm. they actually played. They didn't play Fixer, but they let it go through for Hefty Cormorant. They banned Secret against my story as well. Uh, they love the Chalk. They love the Vi. They love the Lancer. They love the Kestrel. They're not playing the, the Lancer like they did last week in both of those matchups, but they're yeah. they're not getting the Vi either. So maybe that's really what is happening here in this respawn modes for Cute Hamster. They're used to having that Vi, being able to shut right. down corners, take control of a lot of space, create space for themselves. And, you know, we have our bands coming in. Lancer, Vi, once again, right turtle taking out Vi. Cute Hamster, though. They said, you know what? We're tired of this, Emis. Get rid of this Lancer. We cannot <laughs> allow Vi to play it again. Mm -hmm. That is a big target band coming in. What do you think For about sure. that one, Fawn? Um, good good stuff. <laughs> like, like, like that's my that's my answer. There we go. The 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 hard cut analytics. Good stuff. There it is. <laughs> I, I I think that keeping Emis off of this Lancer prevents a lot more situations where you get pulled up on from behind i mean like this happens time and time again where we saw him flank around on the side flank around all the way behind and you're even like gronk you gotta turn around dude you're right the whole team needed to turn around they had to answer emis all yeah, the time on times. the flank here and it, it made it so much harder to try and stall out that lancer try and stall their momentum because there was always somebody on the flank and because of that now you're seeing the target ban now you're seeing the ban for the lancer and i think that's a that's a great look i think that's how you started off wonderfully you know big shout out to everybody watching today on the mm -hmm. road company channel as well as the cmg esports channel shout out to cannibals from hefty cormorant he actually responded to us when we were asking how many downs or elims ms had so he had 61 mm. elims in that in that king of the hill 46 downs and he had six around over 6.6 thousand .6, damage in that game <laughs> wonder how much crazy, he had in the previous game probably not as much but it was as successful 
We see the rogues coming through. We're going to King of the Hill on Icarus. This could get interesting. Mm -hmm. Anvil's available. Vi's not. And, uh, well, Lancer's not available either. I don't know how big of a deal Lancer would have been on Icarus, but just assuming Emmis uh would have been able to play it again, I, I think he still would have been able to find a way to make an impact. But he's going to have to do so with another mm -hmm. rogue in his hands for this game as we fly over. Game number four, King of the Hill. Icarus coming up very shortly here between Right mm -hmm. Turtle and Cute Hamster. Right Turtle lead two to one against Cute Hamster in the semifinals. We have our other semifinals matchup coming up after this, so make sure you stick around whether this ends in four or we have to go to game five. Definitely not ready versus Hefty Cormorant on the other side of the winner's bracket as well. Just give you an update from the loser's bracket. Let's see. Let's go ahead and refresh the page, see if we got any updates for you on the loser's bracket. Nothing so far. Nothing. Nada. Still some good teams in the mix there, though. Banana Smoothies mm -hmm. being led by Emit Payne. You got Drew Whitlock and Rock Soldier. Goldie Slays and King Prenade playing for Lagger. That's who they're going up against. You got 436 Clan being lead or being led by Tykins. They're going up against Sunday 10K with one of our own caster mm. and player, Rome. <laughs> and then you have B-Die versus Brave Sheep. B-Die, another EU team being led by Mr. Brady and Rhea. Then you got Pink Mist versus Baboon Gang. Mm. We watched Baboon Gang go up against Hefty Cormorant in the quarterfinals of the winner's bracket here today. They ended up falling to the loser's bracket in that matchup. If you guys want to sign up for any road company tournaments or any tournaments at all that we have games for, they're at checkmategaming.com. We've got it all. We've been doing some knockout city tournaments on there lately. I don't know. Oh, it's a good game. That game font. It's pretty, it's pretty funny. I have been. This was pretty fun. It's Bad. hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> but we've got road company tournaments on there every single day, not just these big $10,000 ones. So if you're looking to get into the competitive scene, you know, mm -hmm. people always say, join the discords, join the pug discords, get in on some eights. Well, sometimes they don't let you in because they don't know who you are. So sign up for some of these tournaments. I think there's like some 2v2 tournaments as well. So if you don't have a full mm -hmm. squad, you can get into those 2v2s. I think Rome hosts some 2v2 wingmans as well. So maybe you can get into those. If you can't get a full squad together, get your name out there. And then people say, mm, who's that guy? Who's that player? Mm -hmm. Let me let me see what they're all about. Maybe you'll get your shot at ten thousand dollars with a team in the future. But for right now, we've got our sixteen qualified teams. Fun, cute hamster, right turtle, two to one. Right turtles up. You, I mean, I asked for your prediction very mm -hmm. early on, and you were like, cute hamster is the team to look out for. Right turtle is another team that's dangerous, but cute hamster they win the ten k after ten k. I think they're going for what four peat. Is this their fourth They're going for a 4P right now, yes. Weekend? Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, if, if they win this weekend, five? it'd be four times. I think it was four. If my notes are correct, which hold on, let me have right Hold here. on. We did 8K um, in December and 8K in January, which means February, March, April, May. This will be their fifth 10K, I believe. Oh, their fifth. The fifth it would be, it would be a, a, a 5P. Okay. February, March, April. Wait, February, March, April. May, I need to change June. that real I, quick. Did we do a 10K in February? I can't even remember. I'm pretty sure this would be their, their fifth 10K. Yeah, because they yeah, won three with um, Bob, yeah, okay. won one with Ink. Now they have Highlight. Oh, man. Five 10Ks. Five 10Ks in a row. <laughs> if they Bob, do what end would up you winning do if you won five 10Ks, right? So let's just say the five 10Ks. You just got 50K. While you think about that, I'm sure everyone else has a <laughs> grand plan of how they would spend 50K. So let us know on Twitter at CMG underscore rogue, hashtag CMG 10K, hashtag CMG RC. Let us know on social media. Make sure you follow this channel, CMG underscore esports on Twitch. If you're watching from the Rogue Company channel, you can follow that channel as well. And then you'll be able to watch the patch notes. You'll be able to see everything they update. 
mm-hmm. in the game. They put on roadcompany.com. They also do shows to give you all of those update information right there on Rogue Company on Twitch. So, Fon, what would you do if yes. you won 50K? Um, if I won 50K, uh, this is about to be like the most dweeby answer ever, but I definitely would would take care of my family first like i'd like (laughs) like i I would definitely take care of my family first and then however much is left off of that i i i i I would spend on myself i I don't know what i would buy that's a lot of money (laughs) like that's a lot of my i don't know what i would buy not sure uh i guess more games <laughs> like i guess that's just it um take care of bills more games stuff like that that's it <laughs> i think what about uh, you blue what would you do with 50k probably just buy rogue bucks at this point <laughs> got everything else 50k got everything work. else in life i'm gonna be honest <laughs> no 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 like 25k i'm gonna put the other 25k into like Mm-hmm. Apex coins, but you know, it was split the wealth between the two <laughs> games that I spent most of my time on. But yeah, twenty five thousand dollars in rogue bucks. Why not, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, why how not? much <laughs> is that? I, I, I mean, you are right. That is a decision that you can make. Um, I, I personally somebody tell me that, how but... many rogue bucks is twenty five grand if I buy the hundred dollar package the entire time. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know if you would need that much. I think you'd be fine just as is. That's a lot. You're asking for a lot. Yeah, I kind of want to. I kind of want to know how much twenty five thousand dollars worth of rogue bucks is. <laughs> Losers bracket was just updated. I'll get those results to you here in a few moments. But starting off, we've got Anvil in King of the Hill. He wasn't banned. And he was picked 100% pick rate when not banned. All of a sudden, oh, we got man. incense going crazy. And Delana found some with the SLC in his hand. But we've got Scorch. We've got Anvil. We've got Fixer. We've got Shock. And we've got deaths and trades happening on both sides here. 2 nothing is the only score. It's being neutralized so heavily. And just as I say that, oh, man. they make a way. To, to score some points here. I mean, fine. It's getting crazy on that first objective. You crazy by the minute? <laughs> like, just crazier by the minute. Ronnie gets another kill as Ronnie gets another kill as well. 23 points to virtually nothing on the side of right turtle. There hasn't really been much of an opportunity. They do have the next point on lock, though. And a beautiful anvil shield as well means that they can keep eyes where they need to. As it's only 30 points it is a cute hamster have they lit up highlight and there's no way he can peek that again unless he has some help okay someone did the math for me okay you will get eight million four hundred thirty seven thousand five hundred <laughs> robux because for some reason on the epic game store the hundred dollar pack is on sale for only 40 wait this is perfect the hundred dollar pack is on sale for forty dollars. <laughs> Wait, this is perfect. My twenty five grand, oh, I get even more road bucks. Hold on. That is. Delena gets <laughs> is cool. one on the pulsa. His pulsa That's got one on so the much. highlight there, taking a one v two. That is so many road bucks. That's so, so many. So many. That's actually crazy. Oh my. <laughs> Eight million. <laughs> that's so how wild. much is everything million. in the store right now ali gamer the one who did the math for me how store. much is everything in the rogue store right now rogue book wise and then times that by f- however many times they update the store i want to know how, how long that would last me <laughs> giving this guy homework so far, on so rogue bucks right now we're on the third Good hill work. ladies and gentlemen 81 for right turtle they're winning once again 33 for cute hamster Highlight Gronky, Delena, they find some kills. They take control of the objective. This is the money hill because the fourth one did not go as well as planned for them. And they've got to get some more points from this third hill going into this. They cannot go into that fourth hill with the deficit that they did so in both the first and third rounds of that first king of the hill that they played in this matchup. Mm -hmm. It didn't work out well for him, especially that third round where they were just, they, they needed like 70 points on that last hill and it wasn't working out for them. Even trades coming out once more for them. 
And they are going to pick up a little bit of garbage time here as only 15 seconds are remaining on that third hill. Mm. Rotations coming through. Prosper pops the ability. The overheat in his hand. Throws out the fire just so he can kind of walk in it and get that advantage. I can't even see what he's shooting at. I don't know if he can see. He ends <laughs> yeah, up going no, no, down, no, so no obviously worry, he either. could not. Yeah, uh, I already wear glasses, so this is like already like not a good opportunity for me to, to ask <laughs> what I just saw, which was virtually nothing. All I saw was red. Um, so the score is 91 to 88 right now so far. Uh, they've been able to lock things down pretty consistently on both sides. Like It's just been back and forth. That's mostly what we've just been seeing, right? Um, for somebody to be able to take the lead, though, you're obviously going to need um, a, a, an, an easier time locking down these corners right here. Them on the push now is if they win this, if Red Turtle win this, this is what decides the rest of the lead from this point on. And it seems like they're even trading things out one for one still. Everyone, the kill's just coming up like a checkerboard, and it's going to be 115 points to 88. The score is still close, and Gronky just gets lit up. My goodness, man. Yeah, it's still close, but that's still tough because it's going to have to go into sudden death if they try and get this back. They will have 91, but it's being neutralized off and on now, especially with the shield play coming in. You've got inset. Oh, my goodness. He just shielded the shield, man. Emis on Anvil. <laughs> that's something we don't see every day. Emis on Anvil. Okay. But the <laughs> trades are coming through one for one for one. Look at this. Oh, it jumps over the shield trying to get that. It's being neutralized, so they obviously can't gain mm -hmm. as many points as they would like. Slop with the dead eye finding one. Finds oh, a second wow. one with the dead eye. Oh, oh man. my goodness, okay. he's getting sloppy. He finally falls because someone's behind the shield with an SLC, and sudden death is just ticking down. Oh, this might be it. it. That's it. They just they had to it. take, take care of the guy who was down already neutralizing the site emis with 10 downs he isn't leading his team but he's you know he's right up there slop at the bottom with eight but i mean 11 assists he's putting uh some work in with that dead eye i'm gonna give him some 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 slack it is icarus and you got some madmen like frag on Ch wait a minute it's the first time we've seen frag out playing chalk mm-hmm why is that? What is this highlight is, uh, playing? Can we see the scoreboard one more sec? One more second there. Uh, I think highlights on the highlights on the score. Oh, most like no, no, oh, he, no, wait, no, no, no. Highlights uh, no, on no, the he, anvil. He, he's on the anvil. He's on the anvil. Yeah. Oh man, they're shaking things up. I don't know if this is gonna work out for him. Already shield oh, being popped. Semtex doesn't find the damage tenacity, and then he walks around the corner oh, with wait, the ball get him? and takes him out. No, oh, he didn't my kill goodness, him. Wow, man. That Okay, that's wild. Because, like, I was expecting a trade to happen at that point in time. Anvil gets hit. He just swings the corner. Ends up dying. Like, whoa. Like, Emish just swings around with this team. And they don't get the kill on either of the half-health targets that are that are peaking that. I can't believe they don't get that, actually. Right, and now my, look at the score. My accountant, my accountant okay. in chat has updated me once more. Every skin okay. in the game... He has, he says, on average, they release about five to eight new skins every month, right? So at that rate, okay. considering they're yeah. all rare skins, about 1.2 thousand rogue bucks per skin, blah, blah, blah. You'll la it'll last about 70.2 years. I think I'm good. <laughs> I'm dropping 25K. I'll be good. I'll never have to worry about not being able to get a skin or spray or anything, <laughs> right? Add the sprays and the emotes in there. And then take the 70 years down to like 50. That's fine. Whatever, you know. <laughs> you have enough to last you like literally one lifetime. You have a lifetime. My grandkids will Rogue have Rogue. anything they need in that's Rogue true. Company, okay? You're right. Yeah. Anything that they need. At that point, I think that like, like, <laughs> like honestly, at that point, I think they, the company would just need to, to have you, give you access to pass skins. If you I could buy way. high res with Rogue Bucks at that point. <laughs> With rogue bucks alone, sixty-five to nineteen, <laughs> as they finally take control of hill number two. But it doesn't matter because Frag is already hanging out. He gets taken out pretty low. 
I think rotation is going to start to come mm. through. Emis finds Frag with the C4. Emis, it doesn't matter what he's on, apparently. He's finding Nox. Delana finally takes him out with the SLC from a, a good distance. Something you don't normally see SLC strive at. But that's Delana. He's just got really good aim. Look at this. Frag has to just take the bullets to the back. And Gronky finds one, finishes him off. Those were with the Halo drones. Another C4 though. kill coming in from Emis. And Balsa and Prosper finish up. And they're going to start to gain some more points. 30 plus point lead here. I can't even tell. Stop moving, Pulse. I'm trying to see the timer. 40 <laughs> seconds for this hill. Uh, because the timer's not in the center, man. It's a fixed point on the map. The, the players have told me they don't like that. I don't either. It confuses <laughs> me sometimes. Now they're setting man, up for this oh fourth and final hill. 85-42, Fon. What do they got to do to change their luck here? They look like they have a little bit of a firm hold, but they're going to have to win this engagement. Well, it, it's, it's, it's the next mid that brings this into question, right? Which is why Right Turtle and them are trying to push up. If they get a kill here on absolutely have control but the same can be said vice versa if, if hey if right turtle gets those kills then they're the ones that actually have the lead it matters about who dies next and pulsa uh, goes down they're trading blow for blow here but 91 to 47 smoke clears bullets back in the clip you have cute hamster in control over that objective now i just have to hold it um for as long as time allows they have to hold it <laughs> yeah for a moment there, Delana got a double. I was going to say, uh, you know, they need more bands for Cute Hamster alone because Emis <laughs> Slop, they just, they're using. Oh my oh, God, he stuck him with that. He grenade. stuck him in the Pulsa. face. He stuck oh, him in the face. Oh man, that's what happens when the windows open, the opportunity as, as well. Emis walking around the corner, finds a double. All they've got to do, they don't even have to <laughs> get the objective yet, right? They have enough time. They can kind of just neutralize it, play a little bit, play a little bit of games with it here. Now they are starting to gain some more points, which is going to firmly give them the lead by about 30. With only eight seconds, they're going to have to get a sudden death big time play. But that's not looking blow. like it's going to happen. Zero on right the turtle clock. Win. Victory on my screen if you're from right turtle. Wow, man. Two nothing respawn coming in huge for right turtle i told you demolition if you're a really good demo team it doesn't matter anymore in a best of five because you got king of the hill strike out king of the hill in the meat of that bo5 with demos covering like like a, like a sandwich right demo is the bread mm. all right <laughs> i don't know who eats sandwiches in that direction but obviously, cute hamsters <laughs> just not like the meat of it so far because they go down 2 nothing in the King of the Hill. Game number four. Right Turtle win the matchup 3-1. to one. Mm. And they send cute hamster is... to that loser's bracket down low. Fawn, what do you see from these replays? What do you see from this match, that game? Right Turtle. This is... They knocked what out I the team you said any... would win. I mean, they still have a chance to win. Right, right. Well, I, I mean, not only that. Like, I, like I, I was saying, like, statistically, we're looking at statistics. Like, Cute Hamster has been the one that's won this matchup time and time again. I wanted Right Turtle to be in, in a good enough spot to feel comfortable to be able to win this match because one thing it is that we saw in this entire set was hard work. And I'm not talking about on a game-to-game -game basis. I'm talking about Right Turtle bringing their A game today because for them to be able to stop Cute Hamster consistently on two different maps three actually well it well stopped on two different maps and then the third one was a bit of a closer one but even still like it's 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 crazy to be able to see right turtle sort of set into their stride right now this this was one of the more impressive plays to me was how well they were able to consistently lock down submarine on glacier because we very rarely did we ever see um Rarely do we ever see them even knock them out of control of that submarine area. You have Emis on the flank a lot of the time, and this Lancer really tearing it up. I mean, like, they they did their homework, and they played well today. And they all should be proud of that. Yeah, I mean, 
Don't worry. They're not going anywhere, mm-hmm. okay? They're going to the loser's bracket. <laughs> Speaking of that, I said I would give you an update on it. Let me let me do that right now. Woo! Baboon Gang beat out Pink mm-hmm. Miss. So Pink Miss no longer oh. in the chances of getting paid for this event. Okay. Uh, Brave Sheet beat out B Die. That's something I wouldn't have expected. I think they were pretty evenly matched teams, but B Die, I think, mm-hmm. with Mr. Brady and Rhea, a little bit more seasoned mm-hmm. veterans in the in the Road Coast scene competitively, mm-hmm. thought they would have been able to pull that out. Brave Sheep move on. So they will be going up against Baboon Gang. The winner of that will have to face Cute Hamsters in that loser's bracket. Then you have 436 clan losing out the Sunday 10K. So Rome, one of our caster uh, <laughs> friends there, he he continues in the bracket here. And they're going to be going up against Banana Smoothies, who took out Lagger. So Lagger is out of the money as well as for 436 clan. So Banana Smoothies, Sunday 10K, Brave Sheep, and Baboon Gang keep their money dreams alive. Cute Hamster, mm-hmm. of course, dropping to that... Uh, well, the loser's bracket as well. They're going to fall down there. I mean, do you expect them to to lose? Hold on. Baboon Gang, Brave Sheep, that's the two teams that have to face. Mm. It's looking a lot better for Hefty, Cormant, and Right Turtle now. I think they're a little bit more on evil, even playing field here. Any one of them can make the grand finals, but we are going to our next semifinals match right after this break. So don't go anywhere. We've got DNR coming up against Hefty Cormorant. 